today we will create a transparent table so to create a transparent table go to the board sc double one you can go through set menu or directly write a t code in command field so to go through a set menu go to tools and then workbench development and se double one double click on this otherwise go to se double right se double one directly <coughs> in command field so here we are now give name to transparent table while giving name to transparent table you should keep in mind the naming convention as per sap if you are creating some transparent table at your own then its name should be start with y or z so let me name this table z s t u d 1 z student I provide the name started with Z. Now click on Create. I am creating master data for student records. So now again provide show description that is student master data personal personal data. Now next to do is provide a delivery class delivery class control the transportation of this table to any other system like installation system upgrade system or any other live server so i provide class delivery class a over there and next is data browser data browser data browsers restrict user for do further modification in this table there are three option for there one is display maintenance allowed with restrictions display maintenance allowed or not allowed so put display maintenance allowed here now go to fill tab in fill tab so if you want to create a client dependent table then first field should be of type mandate and having length of 3 So I am creating client dependent table. So I create a field of type mandate and provide data element mandate. Mandate data element is of data type CLNT and having length three. You can see it over there. Client length three. Now while I am creating student master data, then my next field will be row number of student so i create a field row number and i also create a data element for that so data element should be like z r number so when you click on it it will say that z r number is not active so you need to create it to create a data element double click on this it will ask you save press yes now provide a package where you want to store this click save all right it is taking some time it is little bit slow so wait a while now click on yes provide so description for data element data element for oops now <coughs> you can provide data type by elementary types or reference type there is two more further option in elementary type that is domain or predefined type if you select predefined type then you can choose predefined data type like pair num c according to your requirement so and also provide the length but i am using domain over there 
in a business programming you should use domain instead of predefined types so that you can further use it in any other table so i create zr number data type sorry zr number domain when you click on it it so there is no active domain so you need to create it to create this domain double click on this press yes save and then provide show description for this domain data type for there so I am using numsy and length of time now next step is to activate it activate the domain go back also activate data type before activating data type you go to field level tab in field label tab write the label for this data element so row number student row number student row number now activate go back so we created a data element ZR number having data type numc and length of 10. Next field, next field is name of student. So name Let's create a data element for it. ZNM to be created press yes yes moment data element name of student <coughs> also create a domain for it I create the domain name same as data element click on it, press yes, save it, yes, now point so description, domain, code, student, provide data type, I provide character type having length 20, name, now activate it, activate, ok, ok, now go back, provide field label, name, name of student, name of student, it's, you, pro, you see there, short, medium, and long, while generating any kind of report, like ALV report, if your field size is small, short, then, then, only name will display as the header if it is medium size then name of student will display if it is long size then name of student display so now activate it go back so then we have created roll number name and third field is address address the create domain z adr1 Double click on it. Yes, yes. Dog data element. Address. Also created domain. Z ADR. Create it. Press yes. Save it. So description domain for address. So I'm providing this data type as 
care to average than 50. Now activate it. Activate it before activating it. Provide field level. Field level is address. Address of student. Address of student. Now activate it. Go back. So here we created student master data tail and provided three fields. One is roll number that is unique that we that will identify the student and name of student and address of student <coughs> now we almost done before activating now save it before activating it we provide technical setting for this table technical setting just provide detail about where the table is physically stored in database how much size it will take, it will be buffered or not and does we need to create, do we need to create log data change for if anybody changes the data in this table then log should be generated or not that can be decided from there. So I provide data class and size category. Save it, go back activate the table yes, no. <coughs> yeah we have done now our table is activated so next step is we check to insert some entries in it and display it so then go to utility table content and create entries XYZ. Save it. Now insert second report 1002 XYZ and address is ABC. Save. So we have created two records. Now to display these records, go to utility, table content, display. Execute. So <coughs> In this way we can create a table, transparent table in SAP web and insert record in it and display the record inserted in this. So have a nice day. Bye.